drink and I'll be right with you. Just wanted to make sure all of our kit was working this fine morning. And it is, fortunately. Right, so welcome back to Irid Novo, the space station setting of Hellpoint, a game I like overall, I like quite a bit, but am concerned by some of the design choices present therein, or within. First things first, let's check and make sure we can still use our weapon, and indeed we can. I think that's because I didn't shut the game down, uh, you know, close the application between yesterday's stream and today's, but... Still, it's good to know that we're not, uh, we're not finding ourselves incapable of using the weapon that's been getting us thus far through the game, once again. Hmm. Sometime soon we might want to see if we can't use that hatchet, though. Yeah, because, like, I'm looking, and the only real reflex weapons we have are these knives and, uh, the Wasteland Saber, which is, you know, not great. Yeah, so, we're good for now. I was just making sure we didn't have better gear to equip. So, where were we when last we left off? Aside from probably in need of going back to the observatory to, like, round our character out a little bit sometime soon. Right, we had cleared, uh, that terrible district and its terrible boss and gained access to the lift. Which brought us to this kind of makeshift chapel, like, right in here with uh, a bunch of demons and school victims running around on the floor that we didn't feel like getting into it with just yet. Again, it might not be a, uh, a dex weapon, so to speak, but the attack arc on this thing is really good. It's pretty fast, too. It's probably going to be a rough encounter, but... Anything will be pleasant after the, uh, the Ascended Soldiers, or the Ascended, uh, Congregators. Sorry, what's this? Lift? Or, uh, what, uh, what does that do? Opens the door, maybe? So I see a demon and a whole lot of, like, weaker tool victims. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Do those give us anything? Um, hello? Hey there. They're guarding something at the altar. I see an item down there, so it's probably gonna be a good one, eh? Fingers crossed. Oh, these are the really weak basic tool victims, though, so we should be good. As long as we don't aggro the demon while we're at it. Axions or, like, tool victim armor? Axions. Okay, so we're down to a few victims and, uh-oh, demons in play. That somehow hit us, like the AoE from that? That's a pretty healthy AoE, then. Just kind of want to separate the demon from the, the tool victim that was following it. Yeah, this guy. There we go. Ooh. 
followed up really quickly on that. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Just went straight through our, our dodges every time. I will say, I don't like uh, how long we're vulnerable after our stamina breaks. Uh, in Dark Souls, it was maybe half that length. So, hmm. We'll get it this time now. <laughs> I do get the sense that maybe we're just a little fragile. Uh, it's not a stat thing necessarily, though. I know there's all those different ways we can upgrade the character back in the uh, observatory. I just don't know if we can use any of them yet. Let's try that again, with all of our heals this time, or both of them, I should say. But also, while we've got this, um... Slightly better melee? Yeah, I know, the, the shields, honestly, are gonna be about the same, and I don't think, honestly, aside from the tower shields, maybe, that shields in this game are going to be terribly useful. Just given the way it's played so far. Oh, hello. There we go. Is there a ghost roaming around down here? No, that's good. Come on now. Okay, that's most of them cleared out. the demon might aggro if we get a little too close to the altar. You gotta remember, like, the hitboxes for his attacks are very, very generous to him. that attack, I'm pretty sure we could just jump over if we were so inclined. Gotta wait for one of those big attacks that leaves him vulnerable. Like so. Some Axians, and what are they guarding? Oh, just a, a bunch of Axians. Okay. It's kind of hoping for some unique loot or whatever, but that, that'll do, I guess. Alright, get out the cube. Got another access hall here with another demon. Keep an eye on that stamina when we fight these suckers. In and out, in and out. And down it goes, nice. Now what were you guarding? Oh, crater human armor. That's interesting. Oh, it requires more cognition? That's interesting. Some profited from the chaos and death of the catastrophe to perform grotesque ex experiments on the dead and living alike. 
This ensemble of life support system and AI-driven exoskeleton casts a shadow over the occult intentions of science. I see. Between that and the railgun, sounds like they're kind of pushing for us to take uh, levels in cognition pretty hard. Which we will, at some point. I kind of hope there's a respec system in this game so I can, you know, develop this character maybe more competently after I figure out how everything works. We got new breach, though. The Celestial Workshop. What a miraculous process. Crafting such bizarre instruments with only a fragment from a cosmic deity. Now we can truly commune with the Divine. What a time to be alive. I'll be working at the Otsego Mansion facing Alma Mater in the highest room, yet without a view. Okay. So they're trying to use eldritch beings from beyond the stars as, like, raw materials. That's... that can only end well. But, if this is a workshop, then I bet you there's probably some top quality magic gear around here somewhere. Locked? Oh, Alma Mater Atrium. It's a brand new area. Not quite where we want to go yet. I kind of wanted to uh, clear out the Arcology first. Let's see if I can't find another damn breach stabilizer, or the one, the whatever item we need to use to connect these things to our fast travel network. Maybe we can learn how to create one somewhere around here. Hello? Oh, we can talk to this one. Les Ronk. Vir. Vele? I have no intention of murdering you, or why do they want you dead? Uh... We'll ask why do they want you dead. Warszawy. Ten. Trechować, berczeć, do drymasz z barli, promusz moczeć. Okay, so he's like an occultist. Perhaps you can find some use for this fragment. Yeah, go ahead and turn it over. Promusz. Nie szamuj i więż. I have no intention of murdering you. Kuńsza, wyr nie zumdrze, parszawy. Cosmic Theurgy. Okay. Oh, another mind vessel. And a white tempering material. The initials A.S. are carved on it, okay. And is that our first? Yeah, our first white tempering material. So we might need to come back here to talk to this guy when we find more fragments. Well, okay. That was worthwhile, I suppose. Now we need to check the third floor of the, the central tower in the Arcology. Uh, if you remember, we unlocked two uh, floors with that lift at the bottom of the Sawn District. And the uh, this is just the second one, connecting to the lobby and the like. That well, looks like it's accretion storm time somewhere. Not here, though, right? I mean, hopefully not. breach while we're here. I bet we can.
Yeah, we can pick up one more. Um, hmm. Let me see. Give me, uh... More health, more stamina. Um, well, our reflex is looking pretty good. Equip load on the whole isn't looking too bad. Um, why don't we, uh, why don't we start taking levels in cognition? Why not? And while we're down here, we can check out that new mind cube. Alik Sada. Yes, we need the info. Um, let's see, we'll just say, uh, there's been an incident. Or no, uh, all hell's broken loose. Let's be honest. Um, let me see. That he was unwell. We'll go with that. Find an architect. Okay, so like during black hole hour we can access special chambers. Okay, so while the first individual we spoke to through that machine told us to be, at the very least, wary of everyone else and of the author, this guy is telling us quite plainly to put our trust in him and do whatever we're told, and also that we can access, like, special treasure chambers at certain times, which, again, like a lot of this game's mechanics, the ones based around time especially, are very cool in theory, but feel like they'd just be more of an impediment in maneuvering around the game in practice. Uh, because, you know, you have to wait until a certain time to, to access treasure that otherwise could just be hidden behind an illusory wall type thing. So what do we have here? Codes for the eyes. I-2 is offline. The tower must be in the raised position. I-1 is severely damaged and inoperable. I-4. I-5. Okay, so I guess we can, uh... Well, first off, we need to activate I, uh... I-2 somehow. But then, uh move all of these things about in such a way that we can, uh, I guess, channel the light of the black hole into certain areas? Like the mind cube fella said, maybe? Well, I guess if that's all there is, we've got two options now. We could go to, um, uh, like, Alma Mater, or we could go to the Arisen Dominion with the credentials we got off of the the golden robotic priests. And I think, in lore at least, there's there's a reason why they were as durable as they were. There's absolutely no reason for them to deal as much damage as they did. That's just poor balance. Uh, we're heading for the Dominion, by the way. I think that's probably the best way to go for now. Um, but they're like arisen, right? They've been ascended and transformed into something greater. And according to the, the author, we're one of the last like, I guess, technically human inhabitants of the station. So, uh, what I'm thinking is they, uh, left behind their corporeal form and were inhabiting those golden Oscar-looking, uh, golems 
as sort of new vessels, new bodies. Well, at least the tool victims don't pose a serious threat anymore. some axions from them, though. I mean, not many, but axions nonetheless. Really want those guns, but they probably have a crazy cognition requirement. pathways while we were down here, or no? I don't think so. We were also told to seek out architects and send them to the ateliers. Um, and I know for a fact we haven't come across anything like that. Maybe they're this game's equivalent of, like, the Lord Soul Bearers from the Dark Souls trilogy, like the big, big bosses we need to track down. He did say they were less than cooperative, after all. Okay, so back to the observatory. I hope we're able to handle the Arisen Dominion right now. Hey, MC, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day so far, man. Right now, we are just trying desperately to figure out what's going on. So we need to find a way to... Um, kind of unlock that second tower so we can align it. And then find codes for the others, because I, I assume that's how we'll access some of those treasure chambers. And so he says, this is a decent day. Help someone to beat the final boss a Hand of Fate. Right on. Um, blind playthrough, I'm, I'm guessing. We're going to the Arisen Dominion now, which may or may not be a good idea. I found another area we could access, but... Uh, I, I figured taking the quote-unquote optional path first might actually be smarter. Well, again, I say optional. I don't know that it is. One thing I'm, I am, like, becoming increasing... Oh, yeah, MC says, yeah, same person that tried beating the dealer last Sunday. Right on, and they managed it. Good for them. Okay, let's see if we can't upgrade our character first while we're here. I mean, we probably can't, but... Worth a try. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Soul Gem's great, man. Alright, we can edit the old weapon while we're here. Or a weapon, at the least. As we take something like the hatchet. And add a reflex conduct. I don't know. What if we were to take something like uh, the glaive and add the reflex conductor? Hey! That makes it a lot stronger, actually. And she says it's hard to believe there are only two ways to get rid of curses in Hand of Fate. I know, right? Like, uh, in the sequel, they're surprisingly easy to get rid of more often than not. Did we have any new models? No, just a restored heater shield. Okay. How on earth do we upgrade our healing method? I, uh... Huh. And 
And she says, yeah, and in the sequel it may even be advantageous to get curses. Certain curses, absolutely. Like, uh, the one that increases damage output and everybody's movement speed. If you happen to be pretty decent at the combat, that can be really, uh, really beneficial, I find. So we're heading to the Arisen Dominion now, which is that faction's territory. That one, the Ministry, seems to control more or less everything else. MC says the healing method can be upgraded by finding them in hidden areas. Oh no, it's probably, uh, those treasure rooms that the, uh, the mind cube told us about that are only accessible during, I guess, the black hole hour. Again, I like the time mechanic in theory. I think they just probably made it a little too prohibitive in execution. One thing I have to applaud this game for is they take the standard Souls-like formula and they try to, to uh, take it in different and in some cases totally novel directions all over the place, to varying degrees of success, but it's it's impressive that they try. Can we... Nope. As he says, and you can increase the healing by increasing vitality. Yeah, yeah, I figured that much. Okay, so these guys again. Love the armor, once again. If they don't drop anything far somewhere. <clears throat> Yeah, MC says just like Bloodborne, that's right. Um, so the Dominion should be through here. Ooh, lots of gold highlights here. Travel to the Arisen Dominion? Why not? I'm not doing anything for a while. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. Lots of gold, which is unsurprising given the the way the arisen look i hope we're like ready to be here cuz it's either here or um alma mater which i guess is like an onboard university and she says gold is basically trash metal oh i know but it looks so pretty and given how resilient the Arisen were, I'm guessing it's some sort of alloy that they're, clo they're coated in. Oh my god. Dude, check this out. Okay, this, this makes up for how ugly the Son District was. Whew. When the light fades, we welcome you in the dark. Now this is how you, like, do visual design. MCS, did you find the healing ritual? I did not, no. Was there one, like, near the Arcology? We got carbon. Which will be used for something someday, I promise you. This game needs just like default fast travel. Blood ritual. No, no, I did not. It's in the Son District. Oh, of course it is. Oh, wait, wait. It might be behind the, uh. Behind the door we need ministry credentials to access. Oh, God, what are you? Well, you're not insanely tough. God, 
I love the look of this area. Kind of like what you'd imagine a futuristic luxury hotel would look like. Oh, it's a celestial beast. Okay. Hi. A celestial beast with much lower health, thankfully. What was it guarding? Horn Celium. He's got a pretty healthy stockpile of it by now. Oh, hello. Entropic melee conductor. So this will infuse us with um, entropic energy. There are more protests today at Tahosa Square as authorities struggle to manage the fallout from the latest mass AI compound revelations. This historic scandal has led to many outbreaks of chaos in multiple cities across Elion. Mass AI development, a capital crime since 2067, has been a highly controversial subject and part of a hidden agenda of the recently established Sixth Council. NCS, how do you find yesterday's Blade actions? I really liked it, actually. Oh, we, we know about Mass AI now. That's going to be important, I assume. Um, I think yesterday's session went absolutely perfectly. I mean, I was uh, kind of uh, handicapped throughout the entire adventure since we were up against probably the only faction in the district who effectively no-sell everything I can do right now, but I still managed to be useful. Um, the, the cutter, again, like, pulled some absolutely fantastic action, saving us all. Um, your hound absolutely shown, getting our first ring. It was, it was a lot of fun. And I do like the fact that our, our campaign on the whole has a, a light-hearted kind of, uh, darkly comic tone to it. I am perfectly happy just uh, being somewhat useful comic relief. That's I, I enjoy playing that type of character. Oh my god. some kind of conductor down there? Another ration. Great. Oh, hello. Mind module. Increases the wearer's foresight capacity at the cost of physical defense. Uh, no thank you. MC says the problem that it revealed is the heat and stress buildup. Well, the problem is as awesome as the conclusion to the score was, our cutter ended up killing, like, six people. Or, well, five, I think. But... We've got to start fighting non-lethally whenever we can. Not in this game, though. In, the, in this game, everybody's gonna die. Oh, they give a healthy little parcel of axions. As he says, that's something to keep in check because it rises really fast. Yep, and yeah, I gotta calm that cutter down. Right, because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if we hadn't have killed, say, at least the last four, if he had gone on a very controlled, non-lethal rampage, we would have gotten maybe just under half the heat that we did, and the, the, the um, spider could have uh, burned that down during our next downtime effortlessly. Their attack pattern is gonna take some getting used to. Oh, is that? That's gotta be a door we can open from the other direction. <laughs> Just flat on your non existent face. Lovely. Oh, hello. Darkness is encroaching everywhere I look. What are we really doing here? The less I believe, the stronger the light becomes. I can't be a part of this anymore. I'm walking away.
Oh yeah, no, I know we've all got to clear some stress. I'm... <gasps> Breach synchronizer! Yes! Yes, that's a fast travel point. But let's let's keep it in our back pocket for now until we have a, the lay of the land here and know exactly where we want to use it. You. It's just one of the dudes with the staves, though. We can... As long as the Celestial Beasts don't pounce on us as soon as we aggro them, he should be... God, they've got a lot of them. And he says, but there's another issue that will come up. We're giving magic stuff to people with unknown intentions. Well, not necessarily. We're giving... Uh, right now, the only powerful magic artifact we've given uh, to somebody is to one of our friends, and a fairly harmless uh, business person, who I'm working overtime to make sure is is on board with at least at least all of the fishiness going on in and around the group. Now, giving the mace to the the courier was a, not a great idea, I don't think, but I, I really don't think as much as I joke about it, we're ever going to end up in open war with the mailman. That'd be a great story arc, but... Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I've missed this. Take your time. Oh yeah, and thankfully these, like the Celestial Beasts, have way less health. Um... just knocked him off his feet. Okay. MC says, harmless business person, that's how the great evil gets released. I doubt it, honestly. I don't... I don't think... Okay, so I, I know because I have friends who've played with DMs like that before. I don't think Spooky's the kind of DM who's going to take any opportunity she can to punish us for goodwill. Um... There are DMs like that, so I don't think we need to be looking out for, for like, horrible consequences around every corner. I'm not, certainly. I get the feeling the Ambassador was setting us up for, uh, for a bigger score down the road, and making sure that we could take out some of the, the city's, or the district's tougher enemies, um who aren't necessarily government officials and wouldn't raise too much heat, uh, or at least put too much heat on her anyway, is was just a solid test. I manage. Human flesh is an acquired taste. I found an intact water orb the other day. It'll go into my stash. Okay, good. So ritual cannibalism, that's a thing here. Great. Great. And we're in more of these dingy maintenance tunnels. We got them. We can handle these guys. Easily. MC says that's true, but Spooky also likes working with the political system. Oh, that's fine. We can, we can handle that. I think we're in, we're in absolutely great shape. And if everything goes well, uh, in the immediate future, uh, I will be best friends with the staff of the casino, meaning we'll have at least some, some support, no matter what.
God, we're getting lots of carbon. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. God, it's a bunch of them. Oh, oh God, another one. attack is that so I do notice that enemies with like melee attacks do tend to have very very long combos in this game fortunately I happen to have a big stick that'll knock them right on over oh oh god axions yeah I don't think the uh, the standard arisen can drop anything Gate. Oh, this brings us back out to the Celestial Beast Corridor. Is that the edge of their aggro range? Nice. And he says, I get the sense that when people are talking about Souls-like games, they mean Bloodborne style games. Yeah, I mean, kind of, sort of. This, as Souls-likes go, especially, as I've said, a, a low-budget Souls-like, is pretty good. Uh, there's lots of weird little things about its design that maybe rub me the wrong way, but on the whole, it's a fun time. There's a compelling world, I feel, invested in discovering what exactly is going on here. Nothing in here? Just the breach, I guess. Doesn't seem like we're too low level for this area, which is a good thing. Hello, beastie boy. the other one out. I, I kind of love this prod, no joke. Anything here in the little plaza they were guarding, though? No? No dice. Ah. Shoot. Well, we've got plenty of Axians, though. What? Oh, hi. Oh. Those give practically no Axions, but everybody else has so far. Okay, so, um... If there was a breach right in there... NCS, did you wonder why I had to make a resolve check after biting a man's hand off? Yeah, no, 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 I think, uh... Spooky mentioned in the, the moment that, like, you had discussed prior as part of backstory or something, needing to do so. Which makes sense, of course. It's not the type of thing that most people would be able to do easily. Okay, we get two levels. Um, hmm. Oh, it's part of the ability. Okay. There was something you guys had talked about beforehand that she worked into the, the game, but... What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Uh... Hold on real quick. Do I need eight strength for the hatchet? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, I don't like it, but... Give me that strength. Hmm. 
30. So not as strong, but... Eh, it looks more or less the same to me. I mean, it looks like a cool weapon, but... Looks like we'll be sticking with the prod for a while now. MC says I can mutilate easily, but it has a cost mechanic-wise, and the resolve is because that stuff is traumatizing. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably more traumatizing for the other fella, but either way. So we've got to be getting close to the Arisen's, like, inner sanctum, right? Sweet, beautiful flesh connects us to the source, makes us whole again. And notice, like, the epitaph has been scratched out, or scratched away in places. So there's some kind of cannibalistic cult that seeks to transcend the flesh via consuming it. That's kind of what I understand here, because the, the Arisen, the guys we fought, clearly did not have human bodies. They were like inhabiting golems. You! Oh, I remember you, sucker. Oh, it's a grudge match. It is a sensor, a sensor congregator grudge match. What do they drop? Oh, axions. there would be another beast coming out of this door, but no. Just me and you. Ha! Not a hit on me. Take that. Oh my god! Look at that! Yo! Oh dude, that's sick. Just know there's some significant plot development or a boss fight or something's gonna happen in there. Is there nothing in here? If, like, the rest of the game has areas designed like this, I will be a very happy man. This is where it's at. Oh dear. Well, we, uh, we ain't getting that quite yet. No, thank you. Looks like another breach right up ahead, though. Oh, man. This place is big. The Grand Gallery. Well, okay. This he says censoring. Man, I, I want one of those sensors as a weapon. I really do. There's a ton of switches in the main platform of the gallery. That's a lot of them. Maybe we want to, like, run through as quick as we can. Situational awareness is not fantastic on the whole. What? What's going on? Uh oh. Come on. Look 
look at this one. He doesn't seem to be wearing the gold that the, the congregators did. Instead, he's very much like a fleshy construct, isn't he? Oh my god. So some of them are wearing the gold plating, others are not. Pathfinding is as good as ever. He says, I think it's a gate to check if you've been upgrading your weapon conductors. Well, we haven't. We've just got the one conductor we installed here, but it seems to do perfectly fine as long as we come around behind them. Oh, we staggered. Nice. Oh, and notice these don't... Oh my god! That ragdoll. These don't appear to perform the combo. The, the crazy combo that drove me up the wall during the boss fight. Oh no, MC says I think this was about the boss fight. Yeah, yeah, that'll make sense. That makes sense. Oh, what do we have here? Just in Celium. All that for. Oh no. No, sorry. We've also got a look at the uh, Arisen City. Got some good old propaganda. Got a platforming section. Which never fails to make me really nervous in these kinds of games. Another beast. At least we got a great reward for tackling the, the congregators. Really cool area. You know, I'm trying to figure out precursors to Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Oh, gee. I, uh... I've heard people, like, throw a few, a few names about, but usually they're, like, fairly obscure titles from uh, generations past, so I, c I can't recall any of them off the top of my head. It's something that people have been talking about this whole time, though. I think there's two Raiders crossing my mind. Uh... If you're talking about environment design uh, and navigation, maybe, but certainly not from uh, a gameplay perspective. Oh my! Oh my God! Really? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. That is. This is the best part of the playthrough so far. Oh, hello. What is this? Seal of the Patriarch. golden coin masterfully crafted with some kind of electronic patterns on the back. On its face is carved the profile of an adult male, though not a human. So perhaps the patriarch is our boss here? That would make sense. Maybe he's the one represented in all these statues and, and golems we've seen about the place? Oh, hello. Tech station. Anything new to print? Nope. Oh wait, now we've got uh, a warrior saber. 
Oh, so we could take raw materials and break them down into uh, crafting resources. Ah, I see, I see. So for, say, the warrior saber, we would need the wasteland saber and some encelium. And that's, that's it. And it's a more powerful... Um, I want to say it's like a, a dex weapon. And she says, uh, no, even on gameplay, I think Tomb Raider bosses are kind of precursors. Of course, Tomb Raiders all like uh, ranged combat, but the combat was both about movement and proper weapons. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. Again, I don't have enough experience with the early games to know definitively, but sounds sounds legit. Um, ten strength of that. How much do we need for the, the cross shield? Oh, we could use that. They need Encelian, Carbon, and Glass. Huh. That just might be worth it. Let's just process all of this. And I guess... Since we can't uh, create the cross shield yet, we don't have the glass. We could make uh, a new and improved uh, shredding saber. Why not? Let's let's try the crafting out. Ta-da! So, if we go back to our menu now, in addition to the wasteland saber. We now have the- holy shit! Look at that power! It's more than twice as strong as what we've got now, are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? We get, like, less bonus damage than what we've currently got, barely. But, um, jeez louise, I don't think it's gonna matter. An intimidating blade composed of many sharp spikes of metallic glass. It could be interpreted as the result of a failed experiment. I mean, yeah, it's gonna have that awkward saber move set, but if it's if it's as strong as I think it's going to be, it's not going to matter. What are you? Some kind of standard humanoid warrior monk? Oh, and what is this? A recipe, maybe? Over 7,000 Axions! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. We, we came to the right place, kids. Come on. Take your time. shield effectively blocks the the spikes completely just somebody come up here and fight me That is nowhere near as much damage, it would appear, which is kind of weird, but maybe we just deal that much extra damage thanks to our stats with the prod. Uh, stop teleporting away. Hold on, what is the power of the weapon exactly? Oh, how likely it is to be def deflected by a shield. It, uh... Oh, no. Whoops. Sorry, it's about half as strong as our other weapon. That one's on me. Whoopsie. I was looking at the wrong stat like an idiot the whole time. I mean, it's. It, I'm sure it's not a bad weapon if we upgrade it, but still...
Yeah, yeah, we block his his uh, magic attacks perfectly. Okay, the beast. We will we will take the beast. There we go. That's one threat down. Let's see. Remember, power is deflect. It's a poorly named stat. Yeah, yeah, it is. I I never looked at that. So that one's totally on me. I enjoyed trying out the crafting, though. I think it can be really useful in future. Oh, okay, so these attacks deal about as much damage when they do hit home. <laughs> More great ragdolls. And then, who, who are you? Oh, this is somebody I talked to? Nimundus, god of the outer consciousness. So he's here somewhere. This this eldritch god is here in the temple. Or no, they said the ministry summoned him. What do you think about AI? Is it the author? Isn't that rather frowned upon? It would take its rightful place as God. Um... Hmm. AI. I'll ask, is it the author? Because the author seems... Strange. Yeah, yeah, so the author is an AI. He's this, uh, illegal AI. And... He created us. And... The Arisen created him. Show me the yes. Then. A povita de. Okay. Um. That is the most awkward way I've ever had a major plot bomb dropped on me. <laughs> By some poor monk trapped running around in circles on a staircase. <laughs> Yep, for the leap. Good. As he says, yeah, with that movement, I could tell they're all going to die. No, no kidding, man. That is... Who Pathfinder needs some help. Now, who or what were they guarding? I see a, a special treasure in here. Seal of the Snake. So we've got the Seal of the Patriarch. This is the Seal of the Snake. This one's a dark red coin. Dark red coin adorned with gorgeous ornamentations and some kind of electronic patterns on its back. On it, a tree is growing out of the severed head of a reptilian creature. So, the different gods that they've summoned, maybe? Are depicted on these coins? And maybe this will, like, lower a lift or create a lift between this and the, uh, the floor of the gallery? More Encelium to break down. Yeah, there we go. It's going to create a couple little hyperlifts for us. I will take these for now because I've got tons of Axians I want to cash in. There we go. And we are going to consume like there's no tomorrow, especially that, like, almost 8k one. Five, that's more like it. Okay, so cognition. Uh, hmm. 
Give me a point in health. Um. Maybe two points in reflex. No, 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 no. Um, one point in reflex. One point in cognition. Two points in cognition, one point in foresight. There we go. That's probably not a direction we want to head just yet. What do all of these do? Oh, this is what we need the seals for. Seal of the Patriarch. So this will take us to the boss, eventually, I'm guessing. Seal of the Snake. What's down here, then? Link to Spada. Okay. To immediately throw on the pile because it's not as good as our prod. It's a friggin' strength weapon, isn't it? What is it with these games and just... Oh, I know what this is, though. This is uh, the Stellar Knight's weapon. Yeah, the giant sword sported proudly by the Sentinels is no mere decoration. Its weight alone makes it difficult to handle, but its devastating impact is there to compensate. I don't think this game does dex weapons very well, if we're being honest. a different attack, please. So I can hit you. There we go. Right like that. I guess I can still do that. Oh dear. Accretion storm. We got this, though. Man, without their combo, those guys are nothing to worry about at all. Glad to see that. big to not have automatic fast travel, I will say that. Axions from the Feast. And hello. brings us right back out to where we... No, not to where we started. No, no, no. Okay, so no point of going there for now. I do miss something back down here, then. Or no, on the other, other side of the, uh, a little atrium here. Never mind. MC says, so the problem with dex weapons is that they're poorly understood, and that's because games usually do range for dex and strength for melee. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um... As, as 
badly as Dark Souls 1 pushed for uh, strength builds, the game did handle dex weapons pretty well, and like, Dark Souls 2 and 3 handled them really well. Like, one of the strongest weapons in the entire series was the dex blade we got from uh, Dark Eater Midir's soul. Pity I didn't get more opportunities to use that during our playthrough. Thing was awesome. Okay, looks like there's nowhere to go but down here. As he says, in strength is supposedly more damage, but that's only because slashing versus bashing damage is not properly handled. That's true. Oh no. Oh god, we got we got boys to men coming in from the chapel. This is this is not going to end well. God, and we're stuck here. And we're stuck here. As long as we can get the first one down, the, the other one shouldn't be a problem. No! No! Oh wait, no, these are gold-plated, unlike the ones we saw earlier, so they would have, like, a more impressive moveset. Including that damnable combo. Got him, though. Is this our seal? Another disciple shield. Yeah, and the seal of the anima. NC says, uh, Dark Souls fixes it by adding bleeding. And also, as one of our viewers told us, uh, either in this stream or Seth's, or, or both, um, strength is meant to, like, stagger enemies or deal with crowd control situations, whereas Dex is designed deliberately to handle really, really quick DPS, like deal an extraordinary amount of damage to single, singular targets over a short amount of time. And, uh, NC says, as for the map size, I do not think size is an issue. Dark Souls 3 makes big maps, but there's a lot of linearity. Yes, no, exactly. They make small mazes and big open linear spaces, right. It's done. I know how difficult this has been for you, but you've done the right thing. Now nothing stands in our way, and the fruit is ripe. I've kept the Patriarch alive as you requested. You can visit him at any time down in the mausoleum. But I would hurry if I were you. The Ministry is eager to move on. Let's see. We've learned about the Patriarch. Things we can talk to the author about, presumably? So... If the Patriarch is, like, on the cusp of death, are we going to have to fight him in some kind of ridiculous mech or something like that? I mean, you know souls likes and mausoleums typically don't go all that well together. discarded husks. Like a bunch of them too, jeez. That must be the way out. But I just know there's more treasure down here. Oh, we also didn't check our seal, did we? silver coin polished to a mirror finish despite the dust covering it. If you stare at it long enough, some colorful patterns begin to appear on it above the reflection of the eye. Ooh. And the 
heavy attacks for this sucker are really good. They come out fast. It's pretty difficult to like stun us out of them. Yeah, good, good stuff. Anything down here? Yes, as a matter of fact. Another little hyper rail. And up we go. I will go back to check out the other one, don't you worry. The door we maybe have to open elsewhere. Okay, so we've already been here. We've cleared this area out, it looks like. No, we haven't. Oh my god, why is there... Why, why are these areas so damn big? Like, it just goes on and on and on. No, no, so I know where we are. This is where the, the guys with the sensors were. MC says, the only counter-argument to that viewer's comment on strength versus dex is the Dark Souls 1 greatsword. Um... Dark Souls 1 handled that a bit worse than the, the later entries did. But even still, um, if you get a proper, like, dex weapon, uh, including, like, reinforcing it, and in some cases infusing it with certain uh, elements that will increase its damage uh, per second, it can do truly insane things. Like, I think uh, one of Kalag's uh, boss soul weapons has the highest potential DPS in the entire game. Uh, the, the Fury Sword, maybe. Either the Fury Sword or the Chaos Blade. Might be the Chaos Blade. What's up here? Just a shortcut? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, he's just gonna do this from now until the end of time, right? Okay, well, we've got a shortcut. Nice to have, I suppose. As he says, it is by all accounts a strength weapon, but it has some dex attributes. And it has very, if we're talking like the standard great swords, um, and not the ultra great swords, it should have some minor dex scaling as well, I think. It's weird, because, like, there's a class of weapons, like the Claymore, the Flamberge, and so on, that are technically considered great swords. But there's a weapon called the Great Sword that is considered an ultra great sword, which is just silly. Okay, let's go fight some more cultists. Why not? In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh god, it's the Black Hole Hour. See that? The rings are beginning to overlap. That can't possibly be good. There's another staff wielder right up there, so we've got to be careful. This might bring us around to him, though. As he says, yeah, and the flamber has bleed, too. Yes, it does. Uh, really solid bleed in Dark Souls 2, at least, if I recall. Okay. So do we want to... Yeah, baby! seems a little dead. And I guess his corpse just decided to throw its staff down after the fact. Okay, any more celestial beasts, anything like that, or is it just me and you? 
Now this is a gold plated one, so it should have it should have the, the combo. There we go. Oh! Did you see? Did did the string on the sensor just like stretch out? Did it, did the model of the character technically just distort, or did he have some kind of crazy yo-yo sensor? Oh my god! Well, that's not good. Oh, that's that's really not good. Well, there's no way in hell we can take all of them on. And I would bet dollars to donuts we're not intended to. Not yet, anyway. What's in here? A beating heart. Excellent. Hello, Occult Station. It's my favorite, like, early 2000s video game console, the Occult Station. Um, this is where we can make our, our cursed column. But I'd really rather not. Let's, uh, let's investigate the rest of this giant-ass sanctuary first. So there's... There's one congregator with a... whoa. I don't know, that was the sound of my shield. I thought it was an enemy drawing their weapon or something. Combo is back with a vengeance. Yep. Should have seen that coming. That's weird. That's really weird. But see, friends, now we've got a whole new problem. How I'm going to have to try my level best to remember how we got there in the first place. Yeah, yeah, the levels are too big and too sprawling. They look really nice on the whole, but they're they're just massive, and a lot of them are kind of nondescript. Uh and that isn't isn't great. Try this again. Never put it past the friggin' combo, man. missing one of those jumps. You know it's gonna happen, too, but just not today. Oh, there's a lot of enemies around here. It's pretty easy to run from most of them. right through this atrium. <clears throat> and hopefully nothing will chase us all the way in. Fingers crossed.
you know, this this is the boss variant. Just as fond of dodging as that one was. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I guess we have to go down there. Oh, a bunch of Axians. At least they give us something. Other than headache. Okay, sir, so let's try this again. some damage, but we got it. Our last coin's gotta be somewhere down there, and no way in hell am I gonna try to fight all of those guys if it comes to it. I'm booking it. Um, can, can we make that? I hope so. No! Oh, hell! supposed to get down there then maybe uh, maybe we're not yet and maybe there's another path from the gallery and that'll take us around somehow I mean that's that's got to be it but we need to go get all of those Axians again, oh god. I have to get ready before too long for uh, Seth's drawful stream, which is going to be a lot of fun. Second one of those we've done. But I do want to get to a boss, and hopefully beat the boss. Which, I mean... You know, as long as the, the boss isn't two or three enemies at once, or gravity, our track record indicates we should be pretty good. Anima? Yep. Just need one more. I know this isn't the, the only way to that overlook, but it's just the one I know. And with areas this, this sprawling and kind of labyrinthine, you've got to stick with paths you know are sure things, otherwise you're going to lose all of those actions. As he says this place gives me an Orlando vibes, yeah, me too. It, it might just be all of the gold everywhere, uh, but like even the enemies are kind of reminiscent visually of the, the Sentinels. I really like the, the design, the aesthetics of this area, but again, just wish things were a bit more linear, a bit more um, navigable than they are. Again, not, not the, the worst thing in the world, but something that would make the game way, way more enjoyable. No 
close there. MC says, yeah, this is why I would not be a great level designer. Oh man, I'm pretty sure any of us could do a better job than, than this. I have no issues memorizing any layout. Well, the the issue isn't memorization here. The issue is there's a massive ass area without like, you know, a boss or anything like that to break it up. So I, I want to say it feels more homogenous than it is. So we can't make that. Uh oh. Can't make that, obviously. So we need to go around, find another way. Oh, or can we access that? Yes, we can. Silly me. I totally missed this area because of how dark it was. Alright, we can, we can just walk right on around. Let's do it. Oh god, I hate you. And these are all gold plated, making them really dangerous because of that right there. got one of the, the staff wielders over here. They shouldn't be a problem. Especially since he seems to be a little distracted. And off he goes. At least they give us plenty of blood for our, our healing vessel. Oh, and another one of these. Good. What you guarding? Oh, Disciple Ferula. Some kind of tool for sacrifice or something, probably? No! No! God damn it! Every time! Every time the goddamn combo! I, so, I, I could tell the Disciple Shield actually does block a lot of the damage output there. But how in the hell can you do anything about it when the attack just comes out so fast? Just one more coin, though. We're, we're almost done. MC says, I think this section needs guns. Like, you, you mean guns in the hands of the player? Yeah, maybe. Like, like the railgun, as I said during the boss fight, the, the railgun would make this easier. And what about the ferula? Let me guess, something we can't use. Oh no, we actually can. And it's a dex weapon. The tool of the one eye, publicly brandished as a symbol of orthodoxy, swings heavily but requires both strength and stamina, despite having no strength requirement and a reflex requirement of eight. Let's... Oh! Well, I like the look of it. It's, uh, it's the weapon that the, uh, the monk was carrying. 
Yeah, no, MC MC reminds us, no strength requirement at the moment. I know, which is just Looney Tunes, but okay. And yeah, considering the map distance, I, I agree with you. Having... Well, not even guns, necessarily. Just, if I had magic. You know, if we could find magical gear inside, like, the headquarters of this crazy cult. That, that would be cool. I mean, I'm sure we will once we get down to the mausoleum. Like, the Patriarch's probably guarding something good. Since he says I cast bullshit at the player. No, I mean... It's just the, the gold-plated uh, sensor sentinels. The, the rest of them... The rest of the enemies here I actually kind of like the designs of. I like that uh, the Cosmic Beasts are back. Um, albeit with reduced stats to serve as more standard enemies and really aggressive, like, close-range enemies to make up for some of the shortcomings of the, the congregants or congregators. I, I still like the staff guys. And the, the sensor congregants without the gold plating are perfectly fine. The ones without the combo. I think they're, they're great as, like, little melee enemy speed bumps. But I know what to do now. Run like there's no tomorrow. Oh, after we kill our ghost. No, no, no! At least we get a full charge of healing from the ghost. At least their aggro range is pretty short. He says, as one comes flying out of right field. Never mind. Axians, thank you. I'm out. At least I thought I was out. Well. Okay, I can take you out. I mean, barely, but I can do it. Okay, now that we've got ourselves a little breathing room, let's see what exactly is going on here. Is it meant to be some kind of platforming segment, is it? Oh god, I feel like it might be. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can make that. Now we need to run like... Like... Like we, we've uh, pissed off an entire cult of very, very powerful mages. Oh, but there's like a library here. I mean, some of this might be information that we can use to converse with the author. going to be important later on, I would reckon. run around the pit, make them fall. If this were Dark Souls, that would definitely work, but unfortunately, it is only a Souls-like. I mean, they're pathfinding it in great, but their problem actually seems to be that they get stuck straight into the floor, not that they go flying, you know, off of it. Oh, hello. What are you, clearly telegraphed? 
door? Are you a way out? Purging ritual? the second floor? No, of course there wasn't. I don't know, but this is the opposite side. Meaning there's more stuff to do downstairs, of course. But first... Let's deal with some enemies I know I can handle. Axions, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the time it's ax it's going to be Axions. Oh. And she says I'm now reminded of an old game. Which one? Hornsilium. Door to the right. Okay, how how do I open these doors, though? That's, uh... Something I've been curious about for some time. How do you open... False doors. a spell or something for it later. And she says, MS DOS game going by the name Mysteries of the Luxor. Hey, Lone Memory, thanks for stopping by. Press square for these doors. I see. Welcome to the stream. I think this is our first time seeing you. Thank, thanks so much for the tip and for joining us. Glad you're here. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, not going to be any easy way getting back from here. So, how about instead we explore what's left of the, the sanctuary here? It came from over there. Oh yeah, no, Lone Memory, I agree. This game is very interesting. And thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. There's a couple absolutely baffling design decisions, but on the whole, I'm really enjoying the game so far. Okay, we we got everything over here. By the way, while we're here, let's check out that ritual we got. This advanced witchcraft ritual should cure insanity, though some accounts tell the opposite effect. Will also heal nearby allies. Oh, that could be useful. What, though, is down here? This screams for fourth coin to me. Oh, and shortcut. Nice. Uh, I think. God almighty, this place is... There it is. Seal of Chaos. Oh no, so it's a different healing method, the purging ritual. Very nice. Oh wait, no. My bad. We wanted inventory. A black coin with beautiful, colorful gas clouds and scintillating stars frozen inside of it. Well, that sounds lovely. Oh yeah. This thing again. Well, let's get some more axions while we're here. Not from him, though. Lots of 
lots of little treasures on all of those um, columns that we'll need to gather up when we can. But, uh, first things first, let's see what's down at the bottom of the stairwell. Absolutely gorgeous little little room, this. What oh what could be at the bottom? Also, were axions we absorbed from an enemy just chasing me that entire time? Oh god, it just keeps going. Oh! We've got a massive reservoir of the same type of energy that the congregators with the sensors appear to be casting about. Yeah, this is dangerous. We want to stay away from that stuff. Oh, more carbon. Okay. Stocking up on those crafting materials. Oh, and there's more of the, like, incomplete... Ascended here. Been a while since we've seen them. Hmm. Ooh. So that's a lift that we're probably going to have to raise later on. to be like near the foundation of the Dominion at this point. But not quite as as deep as the mausoleum, I wouldn't expect. We're going to need to access the big lift for that. What oh what is on the other side? Can we make that jump? Oh, I mean, maybe? Looks like we could definitely make that one. Yep. Helium, nice. Tiny little parcel of axions. And more crafting stuff. I want another accelerator. We've only got a couple of those. Another kinda hidden door? Filter goggles. These goggles used to be part of a helmet that protected against certain toxic hazards. Alright, not quite as cool as our Daft Punk helmet, but glad to have them. This looks entirely different, like some massive deposit that they tapped into. Alright, this is one of the incomplete ones, so nowhere near as threatening. God, do you think this area is big enough? Got 
I'm right at the tail end of our swing. Nice. Uh, okay, so using the shield here is a bad idea. You're, you're just going to keep coming, ain't you? cleanest performance of the playthrough, but just as long as we get there, hey? Right? Oh, more Axions? Good. Oh, he dropped some carbon after the fact. Right? As a scrap shield. Have others been using those? I don't I don't know that I've seen one with a shield. It's probably a new area built into the, the rock over there, and I yeah, I see the little uh the little rail we can use to get down there. First things first. Hello? The mouth of filth and a firearm conductor. Okay, what what in the hell is a mouth of filth? It is um a magic ranged weapon. A demonic experiment intended to create a weapon capable of breaking life down to its molecular structure inflicts radiation poisoning. Okay, I'm... I mean, color me intrigued. Oh my god, it's... We need way more energy to use it effectively, but... It is a, like, high-powered, uh, demonic gun. So the blue bar is not just mana, it's also energy and the like. Which we'll need way more of if we want to make effective use of weapons like this. Let's go see what's at the bottom of this cavern, though. I can't believe I would have just missed this entirely. Down we go! I still prefer the rocket propelled chainsaw launcher concept. I mean, yes, that's great, but let's appreciate the fact that our, our new gun is, for whatever reason, called the Mouth of Filth. I mean, that's... that's ridiculous. I love it. So there's a healing station, as well as some car- oh, hello. giant font of that dark energy. So I'm feeling like maybe the Dominion has two bosses. There's like the Patriarch, probably, um, at the bottom of the lift. And then there's whatever is going to be down here. So what I'm gonna do is explore as much as I can. And if we hit a boss gate here, I'm just turning back. Now I really do like areas like this where the visual design kind of changes to 
indicate that hey you're not in the same exact area anymore as, as gorgeous as the dominion is i do like the the distinct visuals here makes navigation between areas a whole lot easier no doubt <laughs> Okay, I see a treasure down there, near the energy that will almost certainly kill us if we touch it. More carbon. Oh! Oh good, it's like dark energy fish. Been a while since we've seen the fish, hadn't it? I mean, not nearly long enough, but it has. Oh, there we go. Woo. Where are we? The mine mausoleum? Wait, so this, this is where the Patriarch is. And see, so asked, do you know why the sensor dudes do so much damage? I, I had a, I had a theory. I think it's because the shockwave on the combo deals, like, damage per frame of contact, and it it registers each shockwave like it travels through the body. Oh, they do radiation damage. Well, that too. That too. But I also think the shockwaves hit us, like, multiple times. Okay, so tell you what, before we go any deeper into to this nightmare, why don't we head back and complete the first nightmare? with all of the, uh, oh, radiation is bleed. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're going to, uh, go see what's at the bottom of the, the lift. The Patriarch's down here, apparently. So we'll, we'll be back for him. Hold on, I probably, like, to the stream tags, just so we know, uh, should add, like, uh, blind. No spoilers, just, just in case. Just in case. MC says they deal extra damage to living creatures, lesser to underworld creatures and machines. Also deal damage over time, except to machines. Oh, man. So, uh, the Mouth of Filth will actually be really good if we can ever use it reliably. Okay, so that's nothing but a giant reservoir of demonic energy down there. And she says some more poison than bleed, but still... so. Probably closer to Toxin then, right? Okay. Oh, did I never get the item on that altar? Guess not. What is it then? Oh, oh, a radioactive melee conductor. Speak of the devil. I think we can find a good use for that. Yes, indeed. Maybe the lift is just going to take us straight down into the heart of the mine, dead away. Which, I mean, might be useful. Now, remember, we've got that other little, uh, secret door we found up here. Or around here, I should say. Oh, but not here, that's right.
Okay, so right over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and another one. Right? No, no, not here. That's fine. I don't know, that's like a large shutter we might maybe open from elsewhere. Nope, nope, this isn't the place. My bad. Wait, maybe? We'll get there, y'all, don't worry. And she says this is the right area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just go further up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember now. Now we can platform our way down. Very, very carefully. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew, nice. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh my god. What? What in the hell was that? Okay, sure. Why not? That was awful. Okay, so we're... So I will say, I'll be cool with this if once we get in there there's a way to tell what tiles are traps and which aren't. Given our experience with Hellpoint and its design though, I'm kinda worried that it's just gonna be more or less trial and error. Well, no, we, we can't necessarily just run for it because uh, the floor gives way underneath us. Oh god, and we're back here. Well, time to run. And run, and run. This time, probably stopping over to uh, attune to the, the Grand Gallery again. Oh, we just automatically picked up the Axians that time. That's nice, I guess. So I'm, I'm still of the mind that the, the biggest issue with the game's design, there, there's not many serious issues I have, but the biggest one is automatic fast travel between checkpoints kind of needs to be a thing. We saw, like, between Dark Souls 1 and 2 just how greatly that improved the game's general flow, and, like, the ease of exploration, and returning to earlier areas maybe to scavenge items we couldn't before. Um, it benefited Bloodborne, it benefited Se Sekiro in a similar way. Uh, this game needs it. I, I appreciate what they're trying to do uh, by putting the, the onus on the player to decide what points they want to be able to travel between uh, at will. But I don't think that actually makes for a more compelling experience in the end.
Alright, so back to the trap room to get our our axions and hopefully get the treasure without those those pillars that sprout up from the floor doing us in as well. Fortunately, these guys are more or less just window dressing here. So we run right on back up. And out here. Down here. He says, I dislike fast travel as a concept for games that use navigation as a challenge. That's why you want cyclic level design. I, I can see that. I've, I've always been a proponent of fast travel, though. Provide as merely a convenience, something that will save me time if there's nothing new or particularly challenging between point A and point B. That's what I think Dark Souls does really well with its fast travel system. Okay, you clear the area, you get the checkpoint, you can, like, just skip the time it would take you to, to cover that ground again, if you're so inclined. Okay, is there any way to tell? Oh, Christ, no there isn't. And there's no way to attune to the, the earlier checkpoint, so I... Uh... Yeah, fast travel would actually be a huge benefit here. What the fu- No, oh, some, some of the tiles are larger. Some of the tiles are larger and uh, stable. Some of the tiles are larger and give way beneath your feet. This is gonna be fun. Coupled with the massive uh, amount of backtracking we have to do every time now. So I guess in future, just stay away from the big ones, no matter what. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, at least they'll give me my axioms right off the bat this time, thank you. And if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and level up. Since we do have a ton of axioms now, like a ton of them. Seven levels, jeez. Um, hmm. Maybe give me a couple in cognition. One in foresight. One in reflex. And we've got three left. Um, hmm. Let's take maybe all of them in stamina. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that looks good. And if we've got improved cognition, then we may be able to wear the cognition armor now. Uh, slightly increases the whip load. And I do mean very slightly. Those still may be too much for us. I like the 
uh... I like the armor, I really do. Oh my god. Is he has no health? No, no, no. Uh, our health is more or less fine right now. Um, aside from the guys with the sensors, nothing just chews through it, but we have been running out of stamina mid-combat pretty frequently. If we get into a really hectic encounter with Lost Dog, so I wanted health and stamina each at 10, which we've got. And, uh, wow, this is some really, really dope looking armor. <laughs> Also, I have something of an idea that may help us get past that tricky little treasure room. As soon as we get in there, I'm unequipping everything. Everything. be able to get a little more wiggle room. Oh, even these guys deal radiation damage. One thing I will give this game, all of the armor looks really nice and distinct. Again, that's probably just my own aesthetic biases shining through, and it's probably not as cool as I, th I would uh, imagine it to be to a lot of folks, but I... I dig it. I really dig it. No! You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking, MC. Like, maybe the room trap could be made easier without armor. Just, again, fast travel, man. Fast travel. Um, because what we're doing, the little run back, isn't particularly that challenging or engaging. It's just, uh, it's just wasting my time right now. Um, and in Dark Souls, the, the first Dark Souls, I mean, a lot of that was kind of mitigated by the fact that, A, areas tended to be really dense, but not particularly big, uh, with a couple notable exceptions, like uh, Blight Town, Dark Root Garden. Um, and you could unlock uh, fast travel after the halfway point of the game between most major bonfires. You say or shortcuts? Shortcuts, were, in my mind at least, aren't quite as as a uh, as ideal, but they would also be a viable solution for this. Uh, but there aren't any. It's it's just one massive straight shot either way. actually very small, just a lot of verticality. Well, a lot of verticality and a whole lot of little branching paths with additional loot all over the place. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? still going to contend too that the areas overall in this game are just a little actually way too damn big. Like there's no reason that this, with its totally unique aesthetics at all, could constitute a separate area from the, the Dominion. Kind of like uh, Tomb of the Giants in the Catacombs for instance. I think it's probably going to end up being more apt than, than I would care for it to.
was a pretty violent reaction to making contact with our little shield. Okay, okay. MC says Tomb of the Giants appears big, but is just very dark. Oh, I know, I know. It's actually a very, very short area. The largest area in the whole game may be... Uh, part of me really wants to say uh, Ulysseal Township. But even it wasn't that big. Again, Dark Souls does this well because none of its areas overstay their welcome. Uh, the Arisen Dominion, on the other hand, is as beautiful as it is, is an area I am now thoroughly sick and tired of. Yeah, no, I agree. MC says the problem in this game's design is that they don't understand the influence of size on a level. Yeah. Well, notice as well how much, like, as visually striking as all of this is the first time, notice how much empty space there is. Or just empty hallways with the same enemies we've already fought many, many times. Like, there's a lot of stuff, but it's the same stuff. Like over and over again. And again, if these areas were just meant to kind of be run through one time apiece, uh, and then not revisited by and large, that's fine. That, that would be totally fine. But, uh, they're not. And I, I don't want it to sound like I'm just tearing, uh, tearing Hellpoint a new one again. On the whole, I really kind of like the game. Uh, I'm just trying to look at it with a more critical eye. See, okay, what feels off and how could we fix it? A lot of the stuff here I think is just the type of thing you fix probably with more experience and, and maybe more time and and money to work on level design. MC says if you think of Dark Souls 2 or 3, you have a huge open section as an introduction to an area to give a feel of size and scale. Right, right, right. And then you have more intentionally designed little branches off of that. Um, or just a more linear level from there on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, so... Oh, made it. And we got diamond, over 22k axions, a catalyst conductor, and the hedron of the flame. I'm intrigued. Oh, now we, we never have to do that again. What is this? Oh, it's a pretty special foresight weapon. A small portable tabernacle containing a relic or fragment from a cosmic god, then used as a focus device to harness that energy for various purposes. So it's, um, it is like an arcane catalyst. It does cost energy, unfortunately, but it's cool, I suppose. Oh, and do we actually have enough strength to use the, the scrap heat shield? Oh yeah, check that out. Not going to, though. And what is our special ability here? Debris mastery? Okay. MC says if you take Dark Souls 2's underground level, the maze was small areas branching off, but you could take a linear path from the entrance to the ziggurat. Right, right, exactly. Um, Sholva, you're thinking of, I think. Yeah, no, that was a very well-designed area. Okay. 
Okay, so from where we are now... We want to cross back over. Yeah, that's right, that's right, the, the small ledge, you're right. MC says, uh, the enemy placement is such that it never feels linear. Enemy placement here is, like, purely an obstacle. Right, right, right. And aside from, like, the massive amount of congregants here, um, a lot of these enemy placements don't feel natural either. Like, um, there's no real reason for them to be a lot of the places they are. <laughs> see. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you for the tip, MC. I would never have been able to do that otherwise. No way I would have thought it possible, actually. I thought we would have, like, collided with the, the edge of the platform, given the, this game's platform design, and just slid on down into the abyss. We got it. We got it. Now we can go slap that final coin in the elevator and see where it takes us. MC says I wasn't sure it was possible. Yeah, yeah, but once you pointed it out, it looked like it was worth a shot. No other way to go. the Grand Gallery. If you're that desperate, you're welcome to. As he says, I really want to put you in front of Thieves Lost City. Oh, I, I know that series has some great level design, and I think, well, anything would be refreshing after this. Like, man, what, what a waste of a beautiful area. Really. No! No! Looks like, yeah, the gallery's right over there. Work our 
way back down through all of the, the guards. And by guards, I mean beasts. Oh my god, the, the, like, residual radiation killed me, like, from the containers. Oh my lord. This is, um, mm, you know, you know what a good comparison is? Imagine if, from Firelink Shrine to, say, the bottom of Blight Town in Dark Souls 1, there was just no bonfire. Like, like you had the one in Firelink Shrine, and that was it. And yeah, you could open up your little shortcuts and all that, but it's... And the, the game wouldn't get any harder, the more you failed, or what have you. Just, there'd be so much backtracking, so much retreading of ground. It's... I can appreciate what they're trying to do, but it's baffling. And we're back down here at the bottom of the goddamn mine again. MC says, yeah, I bet the elevator is the shortcut. Either it's the shortcut or it takes us to a different boss arena. I'm hoping for the latter. Like, oh, you, you get something really cool for finding all of the tokens and then accessing this, like, special fight. Man, maybe I should have gone to the university instead. there eventually. We got this bit down, if nothing else, right? <laughs> it's so weird, too. They gave us, like, three or four breaches all in a row, like, at the, the gates of the Dominion. And then it's, like, so, oh, you're right, MCI, I shouldn't, but... And then it's ages until we get to the next one. And they actually did, like, little shortcuts in ways that the stage folded back on itself pretty well in and around the Grand Gallery, and then it's just... nothing.
and she says the elevator is the shortcut, it makes sense. Well, yes, then then the, the placement of the breaches makes more sense. But the problem then is that they would give you the means early on in a stage to bypass a great portion of its its content and display that to the player as if it's the the golden path so it's like exchanging one problem for another i mean i will gladly take the problem that's more convenient for me I also didn't see anywhere for an elevator to land down there, especially an elevator the size of the one in the gallery. As he says, no, because the last seal is after that staircase. That's right, but I, I still didn't see anywhere for the elevator to, to descend. I mean, granted, that doesn't say anything, but definitively, but... Because I know where it descends, I think. I mean, I, I'm all ears. Oh, here we go. Yeah, thank you, God. No! Oh, whew. no, no, uh, uh, okay, okay, right down here, shortcut, bam. Shortcut. As he says, the room with the goo waterfall, there's a central location, um, or a central section. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, believe me, I, I hope you're right. Oh, where did that other one lead? nowhere. Alright, and chaos token. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're saving, don't you worry. Three more uh, levels. Let's uh, hmm. let's take two in foresight. No, 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 no. Uh, one in foresight, one in health, one in stamina. Now we can call the lift. Down from the friggin' bowels of the earth. Oh, no. The lift goes up? Huh. Oh no, so yeah, it does go to the mausoleum, but it also goes to the ministry audience chamber. Uh, let's do the mausoleum first, because God knows we've, we've done enough. So it is kind of sort of a shortcut, but it also opens up a brand new path, so we were technically both right. And there's, like, the classic Dark Souls, um, the floor you'll have to run off of the elevator to access. Yeah, no, this is deeper into the mausoleum than we were before. Hey, Zeph! Welcome! Oh, yeah, this mace. This is, um, basically just a giant chunk of rebar with some flesh on it that we found on a tutorial enemy. Um, and it's 
surprisingly been the strongest weapon we've seen in the game thus far. Aside from uh, the Filthy Mouth. The filthy Mouth, I think, is stronger, but we can't use it properly. I mean, we've got to be getting close to the Patriarch at this rate, right? So, Seth, you've, you've, uh, first of all, I hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, I'm excited for our, our, uh, co-stream in a little bit. Uh, secondly, you've missed it. This game's area design is friggin' insane. We've been in the same area without, like, a ridiculous amount of deaths or anything for over two hours. Like, just always moving forward, too. It's, it's so big. It's too big. I mean, it looks like the, the Ministry's running out of Jews, or the, uh, the Ascended are around here, so... Go around, and you'll find a thing. Yeah, that is indeed a thing. Ah! Haha! -ha. Oh, thank you, Sev. I, I hope you enjoy them. Um, save the screenshot. That's the pattern we need for eye number two. But that's also the one we can't access yet, because its tower is, uh, locked. I also might want to start investing in energy because I kind of want to use the filthy mouth just just so I can get a good stream title out of it. He says I could see it too, Brady in the filthy mouth. Yeah, no, no, that's... It's an accurate description for any of my Souls-like streams in the first place, but it will be quite literal if we go with that, that direction. Oh, no. Radioactive fish, really? Okay, so good news. This area, this, this bit anyway, the mausoleum, doesn't appear to be that big, meaning we're almost... To the Patriarch. And a break, probably. Or a perfectly clean transition into Seth's stream, at the least. He might be through there. Okay, so we'll attune to the breach. Zip on up. Oh, I I see the problem. They're they're going all crazy and they're not able to pathfind properly because I think what their Ethernet cable is a little loose. Might want to try just uh, unplugging that and plugging it back in, and the enemies around here will function exactly as intended. So, new question. What on earth do we do now? So, we were able to get up onto the roof from this. Maybe this just serves as a vantage point to show you that, hey, there's another pathway over there. Or, to access whatever that is on the rock. Yeah, no, I, I agree, MC. They say uh, it's weird for a small budget game to make an area so large. So many areas so large. Oh, I see what this is for. Oh, hell. <laughs> what? Yes, no, Zeph, I can see it. Yeah, we do kind of look like Mr. Freeze. Uh, specifically the version from... Yeah, yeah, Batman and Robin. Oh, God, I can see... You know... It was one of the first films I ever saw when I was a kid, because um, Batman and Robin was released when I was still very, very young. And I actually 
have a very soft spot in my heart for it. I know I know it's not good. I know it's a terrible film, but I I can't help but smile every time I watch it. It's it's good stuff. Unlike Hellpoint, um, which is increasingly grating on my nerves, because um, you've got these gorgeous areas and vistas, and like I guess they thought the game would be incomplete without a beautiful area like this having you know five kilometers of maintenance tunnels scattered underneath it. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, if I was making a game like this on a budget. I would prioritize unique boss and mini-boss battles, like special encounters, um, and try to compress my areas as much as possible. NC says I have a title for the stream, Brady and the Unrealized Potential. Dude, that that is an appropriate title for my life, what are you talking about? Um, but no, that that is that is a good one. Thank you. Okay, so we're in the mausoleum, right? There's the ghost. Oh, so maybe we are supposed to go that way? Oh, that would make sense, because the, the lift's over there. And so if we're going live in uh, about 18 minutes, correct? Kidding me? It it just keeps going. Oh yeah, and see they say it reminds me of two games. Metroid Prime Trilogy is one of them. Yep, yep, the phase on everywhere. I can I could see that. <laughs> Seth says Brady and the Unrealized Potential. Sounds like the name of a very bad porno. I Okay, so I have a harder time visualizing that, but yes, yes it does, now that you mention it. Never played that one. Oh, Jesus Christ, I could see cosmic beasts and incomplete arisen down there. Just end! Give me a boss or another funny little NPC who gets stuck on a staircase or something. Seth says the enemies look very unfinished. Um. Well, uh, bad news. This is, uh, this is one of the, uh, areas with some of the best enemy design I've seen in the game. So, oh, hello. The Channeler of Light. Yeah, that's gonna be a foresight weapon. This looks promising. An object of worship used by congregators to commune with the cosmic gods and establish control over the masses. Okay, holy Moses! Yeah, baby, now that's a weapon, let's see. Oh! And it bounces off of the walls like, like a, a rubber ball, that is... I think we may need to start dumping some levels into energy because this is just too much for old Brady. Like, that, that, is, that is a work of art. And he says it's a pleasure for the eyes, but too much foreplay. The whole area is, yeah, this is this is ridiculous at this point. Okay, now where was the little chimera fella? Make the jump. Probably not. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. 
Okay. Where is he? Yeah, just just let these things roam the halls. Fine, whatever. See, Dark Souls did really well having small pools of enemies for each area, in part, because again, the areas weren't very long, and oftentimes you wouldn't see enemies in multiple different areas. Oh my god, no, 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 no! It, it just spits us back out in the mausoleum. What? Odds are very good we're actually going to have to cut today's stream without a boss, which I absolutely hate, but... Well, we play the cards we're dealt, right? Yeah, so, uh, huh. looks like we're back here again. Hello, ghost. Don't have time for you. Well, we were able to find one of the codes for the, the eyes, which would be great if we could unlock that eye, which is something else we have to find out how to do elsewhere. Applying to grad school involved less running around than this. And like these things seem to be pointing upwards, or no, they're they're signs, but still. He says, I can't tell if they're making zipper noises or saw noises. I think they're supposed to be, like, wheezing or hacking. And, like, you can hear the air passing through the the metal that comprises their, well, at this point, most of their body. So do we think that there might actually be nothing down here? And instead, oh, you mean like what sound effect they were using? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't, I can't tell. Oh, so do we think there just might not be anything here? Like maybe the patriarch is in the audience chamber regardless of what they said? Or he's on that that secret floor we could have stopped off on. Maybe. That'll be my last my last action for the day. I'll see what's on the secret floor. And then if it turns out to be nothing, we'll run really quickly up to the ministry audience chamber and call it call it a day. NC says where you need to get to the audience chamber to progress. One one or the other, man, this game's design is just so bizarre. Not even bad, just really, really weird. Oh, promenade. Select the promenade now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Okay, then what's on the promenade? Oh, it's just this friggin' place. As predicted. Okay. Okay, ministry audience chamber. Let's do it. And she says, so this is where the elevator also led. Yeah, yeah, it was behind um, one of those giant golden doors. Where are we going?
Now watch there be, like, another, like, 30 minutes worth of hallways on the other side of this door. Oh, or nothing at all, because it's locked. Ay, ay, ay. Oh no, here we go. There's, there's two doors. Which means, yeah, whoa, oh, hello. Connect with the ominous monitor. Uh, we're gonna hold off on that. This must be the ministry. Morning. Be now to the morning. Be now to the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll say it's been rather enjoyable. Screw y'all. The dogs are caught. Don't wake us for him. Uh, I want to commune with Nemundus the Undisturbed. Why? I'm investigating the events that happened on your Novo. Well, no, we'll be honest, we've climbed a long way. What? Why? Um. Okay, they're going to help us now. Okay, so they'll let us see Nemundus then. Come down for my salutations. Okay, well, they were more helpful than I expected. NC says I know what these monoliths are. Do they just make the game harder, or, or what? Is this something I should do, or shouldn't? Oh, we can go throw down with Nemundus now, though. Oh my god. Well, oh, MC says think Mirror or Shadow World from Castlevania. Oh, nice. Um, I think I know what we're going to do to start off tomorrow's stream, but we're going to have to cut it now, as I'm going to be joining Seth the Overwitch for her, um, Drawful stream. Uh, that's going to be fun. Please stick around for that. It will be hosted on this channel, or drop by hers. We would love to have you, as always. Um, so, thank you all so much for joining, ladies and gents. We'll see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.